I ain't really worried about that. If you want immediate results, you got to fix this width thing. All right, look. Watch how good this looks. If you can do this, you can play some good golf. That is wide. You've never been there. That's now, by the right arm. That's because the right arm dictates width. Everybody thinks it's a left arm. The right arm dictates width. Now, I'm not saying... I'm not saying you don't push the club away with your left side, because I want you to. Yeah. But I want you to feel like the right arm stays wide. So yeah, that's nice. And then you're just going to hit shots. You're going to feel like you're taking a half swing. And what's going to happen is you're going to have width, so much width through the ball. Because remember, the golf swing is symmetrical. Whatever you do on one side, you're going to do on the other side. Mm -hmm. So look at that swing and tell me you don't like that width coming through post-impact. So the key to consistency is staying wide, which keeps your hands passive. And then look at the extension through the ball. That's nice. The other thing you do well is you chase nicely with your right shoulder. And I, what I like to teach people is let the head release, and you do that nicely. So far behind it has to. Right. <laughs> but, but, you know, you, your body's going to do what you can do. Accommodate... You know, the brain's not going to let you do something that hurts. Body's pretty good, though. The second swing was too big. I don't want you to do those swings yet. I only want the left arm to go to a 3 o'clock position. I just want you to feel that width. Do about 25, 30 swings a day doing that right there. And then go ahead and, and hit full shots. That's it right there? Yep. You're just going to hit, you know... 25 to 50 yard shots until you feel comfortable doing that 